Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my mini champagne box. <clears throat> it's this gorgeous box here. Can you see there, look? It's all shiny. All of it's shiny, isn't it beautiful? And inside it has a small bottle of Prosecco. So the cheaper version of champagne, but it's still gorgeous. So this is from the Love You Always Sweet in the new catalogue. It is just divine. So I have used the Love You Always foil sheets and the Love You Always DSP. These are gorgeous heart charms. I don't know if you can see them there. Those are the flat sides, but they have a, a raised side as well. So those are just beautiful. And again, I've used the same foil paper here as I have on this beautiful little sentiment here. And it is just so cute. And if I kind of try and, it's a bit too big, but it is an exploding box. So it does have your bottle of whatever you wish inside. This is the only fun part, is trying to get the lid on. <laughs> when you've got all these elements here. And I did find the easiest way was to kind of, there we go. And there we have it, the beautiful box. So let's go ahead and make it. This time I'm making it in Sahara sand. So again you can see beautiful shiny shiny. So they can be for male or female if you wanted to mix it up. So I'm going to use the foil sheet first for the base. Um, <clears throat> and you will need, these are 12 by 12 sheets but the sheet I'm using is 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So it's going to be really hard because of the reflection, but hopefully it won't be too bad. So for 10.5 by 10.5, which is 27.5 by 27.5 centimetres, and we're going to score all four sides at four inches, which is 10.5 centimetres. Um, it is just so beautiful. Honestly, so so beautiful, and you can see how easily it just scores. It's just so pretty, right? So that's that part done. Now, I'm not going to fold and burnish this at the moment because what I'm going to do is I want to use my trimmer because I want my edges to be really smart and smooth. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line, let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to line my score line up with the groove of my trimmer and what I'm wanting to keep is the cross section. So I'm going to score, let me just move it up a little bit now, so I'm going to score all the way to the score line. Now you can't see, let me tilt it slightly. So there's a groove there and that's where the blade is. So I want to line that groove up there with this score line. I'm then going to lift my track here and I'm going to zoom back out again now so you can see. So now I'm going to put my blade at the bottom and go up to that score line. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat the process this side. So I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to cut from the bottom up, raise it from the bottom down. And then <clears throat> my final cut will be this way. So I will cut down to there and this piece will just come away. And then I will lift and do the bottom and again another square. So do this one. That was a bit crazy. I just dropped it down and went to cut without checking them. And as you can see, I'm just going to spin this around so you can see. So all I've got left now is this cross section. <clears throat> Pop that in there down to the line. Okay, so that is what I have left. Let me move that out of the way <clears throat> to a nice cross section. And then I have four 
squares that are going to be perfect for other projects because they're not cut, scored, creased or anything. Now for this one I've not really used my scoring tool because I'm mindful that I might crack the paper which I don't want to do so I am being very gentle and just giving it a gentle fold okay and obviously that is it because your bottle will now sit in the base so I'll pop these to one side for a minute because now we need to do our lid <clears throat> so again I've got some beautiful DSP that is ten and a half by eight and a quarter inches which is 27 and a half by 21 and a half centimeters I've got an offcut of that beautiful paper because I need to use it as a shim so on the long side we're going to score at two and a half five seven and a half and ten inches and in metric that's six and a half thirteen nineteen and a half and twenty six and then I'm going to rotate it anti-clockwise still with my shim in place and I'm going to score at two and a half which is six and a half centimetres okay let me just put some of this away because I don't need my trimmer whoops I do need however my um, bone folder for this one and I'm simply going to score sorry fold and burnish these score lines this paper is just beautiful it's just slightly thinner than the foil <coughs> excuse me little frog um, yeah it's slightly thinner than the foil um, but it is just so beautiful and again going back maybe a couple of years now I don't know if any of you guys remember the leaf trinkets we had <coughs> were very similar to this pattern okay so once I've done that part so this bit now we need to keep the long thin section here and get rid of this smaller one so I'm just going to give that a small trim just down there and then I'm also going to cut these top sections now again if you want to use your trimmer you can I'm a bit more confident in cutting these with my scissors we're just going to cut down those <coughs> And then as you can see this just becomes our lid so I'm going to put some adhesive down here when it wants to work I think I've used it too much today <laughs> so I'm just going to fold that over in fact I'm not going to fold that over I'm going to do it this way and that's slightly because the shim has I think the shim has sort of knocked it slightly off square which sounds bizarre and I'm not convinced myself but anyway so the back's there so as you guys know pop these sides in I'm going to put some adhesive on here and I think actually I'm just going to put a strip on here too so hold that one down there that one down there and then a last little bit of adhesive on this bit very straight did I? I might have to just trim that little bit of paper there look oops there we go that's better and there's my beautiful lid so let's bring my bottle in and then I want to put my where's my join there so that's going to go to the back so pop my lid on and then I actually found that an easier way of doing this is actually to just bend this sorry that's totally off camera was to bend this just very slightly just because it's slightly impossible to try and get it all in otherwise and then if you just push I've done that the wrong way around look my seams here never mind 
you get the gist. So that is my box. I think I'm going to go with which side looks best, that one I think. So there is my beautiful bottle box. And to just decorate it now, I'm so excited about this part. So I have some more of the offcut of my foil sheet. I have my foam adhesive sheets, which I don't think is going to be the right size because I then have the always dies. These are beautiful, so I'm going with love again. And I want to just make sure that that will fit on there. So I'm butting it up to the edge here because I don't really want to waste any. Trim that bit off there. So then I'm going to peel this back very much like I do with the um, adhesive sheets. I'm going to pop that on and then I'm just going to cut it out. Okay, so there's my foil sheet now, backed onto the foam adhesive. <coughs> Move that out of the way. Are you ready for this excitement? This is my baby boss. Oh my goodness. I am in love with it. Completely in love with it. It is amazing. So if I just pop that there, I can't zoom out anymore. <coughs> But this is the big one. In comparison, do you see what I mean? That one, and it's so heavy. Oh, but this little beauty is so light. So, so light. Little finger. So, so light. I absolutely love it. It is just the best thing ever. So, using exactly the same sandwich as you would, so small base and then your plates, my foil, my little sentiment here. Now it does seem quite hard to get this one through but that's because it's on foam so it's thicker. So what I'm going to do is go through once, twice, Three times a charm. There we go. And again, look, you can just spin it round. Oh, it's just my goodness. I just love it. Right. Let's just try and get this off here. There's just some of the adhesive. That's the problem. So that I'm going to stick to one side. I'm going to use it again in a minute. So this is my lovely sentiment. Again, if you're not sure, you can just check at the back there. Yeah, I'm quite happy that's cut that out. So this is the fiddly bit and what I just did here actually was, there we go, so that's pulled my die off nicely, left this all in place. Now the L is separate to the rest, so if you can prise that, it's coming off with the backing off as well but that's fine, get rid of that. I don't need that. Put that in the bin. Okay, so let's. Have I got. Oh no, that's okay. So I am literally trying not to touch it too much here. So I'm just going to put my main part there and then press the rest down. Beautiful. And now the rest of my, right, let's see if I can push these out first. Get off, get off. Come on, you. You don't need to be there, thank you. There we go. That's the backing off as well. So if I can now just again prise it away, 
it's a little fiddly but it's so worth it because I just think this looks fab when it's finished right so I now just want to line this up I'm going to start off with the O and then the rest should follow so there's the beautiful word get rid of this and then the last little part I just need my Sahara Sun my dogs are going to bark in a minute because my son's just pulled up outside so I know that's coming any second so I'm going to apologise um, forever and always these are the accompanying dies oh, I'm just simply wanting to use the word with here so I'm just going to grab that Sahara Sand to coordinate with those Oops. and then where have they gone? back over here I'm going to pop that one away and I'm going to use this lovely little shape here to cut that word out so again back in with my beautiful baby boss just perfect for these little diddly bits pop that on there straight oops, straight through just perfect for these little jobs right, there's my die there's my little sentiment put that down there out of the way and then I'm just going to pop on here I want a couple of mini dimensionals just on the back now I'm going to go right to the very end with these and then I'm just get that one in there and then I'm going to pop a glue dot in the centre there one of these beautiful heart charms and I want to loop it over the edge there and then just attach it to the glue dot so you see how I've done that so it just hooks over the end there and then the backing off these and pop this just over the top same angle obviously I'd take the lid off press underneath to make sure that's stuck down but there we have it those are my mini champagne bottle boxes hope you like them and I hope you love this sweet because I do thanks for joining me see you all again soon